Hello, welcome to the next video in my series about the, the dark eye core rules. And this video will be about chapter four, species, the species and races you can choose during character creation. I will not go into much detail about the um, game mechanics, technical detail. I will not tell you, you get this bonus and this negative bonus, and you will get this ability if you choose that that species I'm more talking in general what they give you and I will tell you what species are there and what races and that's about it I'm not going in too much detail and one thing I should probably note on the left here you see part of a short story um, you will find short stories um, throughout the page uh, throughout the book and they are between the, the chapters and they um, help you to uh, understand what playing in the dark eyes about what is the atmosphere of the world and stuff like that. Uh, but now to the technical part, the rules, the species. So at first um, here is explained what uh, is in a description of a species. It just tells you, you will have these and these and these informations in it. when you read through a species. It's always the same. It is like um, how they, what they are called, maybe in different languages. What are humans called in elven language? What are humans called in dwarven language? What are humans called in human language? Um, then uh, where are they coming from? Because not all species you play are native to the continent. For example, most humans came from the west from a different continent and settled on Aventuria and then uh, spread and became the dominating force. And uh, so this tells you where are they coming from and where do they live now. Then it's about the looks that the most important part when choosing a species. They give also give you some base values, but I th to me, it's most important what do you look like, because that can be very significant if you choose a species human or dwarf. The look is most important and it also in influences your stats. And when you choose a human, it's a huge difference in terms of look. If you like an, one, a, a Torvala, a Thorvalian, which is a very tall human race, or if you like an wood people, which are Indian, South American Indian-like people who are rather short and have a different skin color. Next up is about um, how they mate and how they age. How old does someone become? Because an um, age, uh, Elven, for example, humans become uh, as old as humans on Earth. But for Dwarven, they can become their ages like can be more than several hundred years and they age very slowly when you are 50 years old as a, as a as a dwarf you're pretty young still yeah and for elven there is like no limit on how old they can become for example next part in the description of the species is about the stats you get with that species. That is this uh, these yellow boxes. The, the text is just description, background description, look where they come from, where they live and stuff like that. And the technical parts are detailed in these boxes. And in there you will find what does the, does it cost to choose this um, species? The cost is simply based on the skills you're buying with that species. And uh, it costs you just the same as if you would choose these skills during the choose the skills phase of the character creation. So there is no really um, you can just leave out the the skills if you don't want them, the special abilities the species brings, and not pay for the special for the for the for the race, and then you um, are not doing anything wrong. Yeah the character doesn't get unbalanced or something. It's just a very unusual character because it means you are not going to be a spellcaster as an elf. Um, the base values that come with your species are a 
base amount of hit points, your resistances, and your speed, because Elven will be more resistant to magic, Dwarven will be slower but have more hit points, and humans are mostly average. There's no distinction about your race, although the Torvala, the Thorvalian, are pretty tall and in general considered very strong. They don't get any bonus on strength compared to um, the wood people who are rather considered small and or not so tall and who are more considered to be more agile or something. There's no bonus associated to that. And then there is a change of maximum attribute values associated with nearly every race. For example, humans can have one attribute one point higher than they should based on their starting, um, their starting experience. If you may... Um, experience level. If you have a starting experience level of experienced, which is the normal one, you would it would say your attributes cannot be higher than 14. If you're a human, you can choose one that is 15. And for other species, you may get a bonus of in two and you get a negative bonus in another uh, attribute and you have to choose these. Then there is a list of typical cultures you were raised in because when you're a human, and then you are raised in a human culture. And when you're from a cer certain race, you're going to be from a culture that is typical for that race. Uh, same for Elven, Dwarven, and so on. And then there is a list of disadvantages and advantages associated to that race. Um, these, some of these advantages are advantages you have to take or you nearly you simply should have when you are from that species for example like the elven who can always spell cast and then there is a list of just typical stuff you could consider taking because it's very typical for example the the um the Valians are stronger so you may might take something that makes them tougher to fight or something um, or they are used to cold and then you would take something that makes them resistant to cold because they come from the high north or something. So um, these are just lists of typical to choose or typical not to choose a special ability and not special abilities, advantages or disadvantages. So... That is what in, is in general how they are described, the species, what you will find in every description of the species. Now to the actual species description. Here are the humans. I'm not going into detail what uh, the stats you get, what hit points you get, what resistance you get. Um, I'm just explaining what different um, races are there and how they differ. And something about the background of humans. For example, you have the Mittelländer. That is um, Midden Realmer, which is a bit misleading. Midden Realm, if you remember, is an empire. The empire, the Midden Realm is an empire, the biggest empire on the continent. But Midden Realmer is basically everybody who is a white person, a white human, because they once came from the West and settled and expanded, and then their empire broke apart and all these parts are considered uh, midden realmians so the people in Andergast in Nostria the people in the old empire are all considered to be of race midden realmian they are all white people who once belonged to the to the old empire and there is one big empire that's called the midden realm and all, most people in there are also midden realmian and white people um, Next race is Tulamin. These are the people from the... They are natives to the land. They have, like, typical for them is an Arabian culture and they look like Arabians. They have darker skin and, and such, darker hair, usually different eye colors and, and such. And uh, that is the, a native race to the continent. Other uh, 
race is the Torvala, the Thorvalian, and they are Viking-like people. They're taller, they have different skin color, they have different hair color, usually different eye color. These are things that are different when you choose a Torvala, usually. Next is Nivelen. Nivelen are people from the high north. They are a bit like Inuit or northern Scandinavian uh, people. I don't really, I cannot really say if they really are modeled after one of these uh, earthly people. I'm not quite sure, but that is roughly the direction in which they go. Same is with Norbaden. Norbaden are, they are not really, they don't have any culture or race on earth, which after they are modeled, I think they once were Tulamiden, but they have been living in the north. The Tulamiden live in more in the south, where it's warmer, where it is like in southern in more night. And the Nobardin were originally Tulamidian people, and they lived long time in the north, and they have a very own unique culture. And last are the wood people and the Utulus. The wood people are natives to the land. They are like the um, their look is like the South American Indians in terms of size, in terms of they are not that tall, they are darker skin and stuff like that. And the Utulus are like African people and they are also not native to the land. They came from a continent in the south at one point. But they live in the same region in the south as the wood people, and they are often uh, there's often confusion between these people for Aventurian people, cause they for them they are all like the same, and from the south. Mm, yeah, and you can see here, for example, the list of cultures is um, divided based on what race you choose. For example, when you're mineral realming, you have a wide range of to choose, because you can be uh, from a lot of countries, a lot of empires, a lot of kingdoms, and you live even in unusual regions where other cultures are dominant. You might live there too, because you're just a dominant uh, species and spread out very much. And for other um, races, you have a more limited uh, selection. You have an divided, depended on your race, different advantages and disadvantages that you should take or you could consider taking or shouldn't take and so on. And the last is a table of typical hair colors based on race, typical eye colors based on race, typical height based on race. You can roll on these tables or roll your height, or calculate and roll your, your your weight, but you can also just choose it if you want. If you want, I want to be someone that is very tall, then you just choose it. Next species described are the Elven. The Elven also have different, um, different races. There are three, there are four. Three are in the core rules. Um, I don't know if they bring, or are they? No, no, they are more cultures. There are three different races of Elven, which also are different in mostly hair color, eye color. Else they have this pretty much same stats. They have the same hit points and stuff and limitations. And they have the same typical disadvantages and advantages. And they just differ in hair color and such. And they have usually typical different cultures because they are in the high north, they live in the ice, and there's a certain culture there, they live in the woods, there's a certain culture there, and they live in lakes and on rivers, and there's a typical cu culture that lives there. Then you have the half elven. There is no difference. There are no, in the old rules, I think you could play half elves, you are a child of a human and an elf, and you could play different uh, half elves based on what race your your human parent was and what race your elven parent was. That is not in these rules. Maybe they bring it back in one of the additional material, but here it's just half elf and there's no distinction between different types of half elves. 
Dwarven also, I don't think they have different races. No. A dwarf is a dwarf is a dwarf. Um, there are no different races. They are pretty much the same. And um, you just choose different cultures for them in the end. So that's the part about the that's the part about the species and races you could choose. Um, to me, they are mostly about what you look like, and the only stat changes are these things you can see here. These are the stat changes for for humans, elven, how elven, and for dwarven or dwarves. And yeah, that's all. And mostly it is like description where you come from, what's your history, the history of your people and what you look like. If you have any questions, maybe you're interested what are certain hair colors or something called the Elven go pretty crazy. They can have like silver hair and eyes or something like that. And everybody else is pretty normal, like you are used to from humans. They maybe have a very high probability to have red hair or something, like it is on Earth for certain people, um, but nothing too crazy is there. Ah, and here you can see the different races. Elven are usually a bit taller, this is the average human, and there we have Dwarven. So that's it for it. Again, if you have questions, ask questions. If you think I explained something wrong or something, correct me. Write something in the comments, send me a message and I'll try to correct it. Um, that's it for the species part. Next is about culture. This will probably be several videos because there are a lot of cultures and I'll try to tell you something about the cultures. The cultures bring nearly nothing in terms of value, stats, skills, but a lot of background because that is like how you live how you were raised and stuff like that. So um, that's it for now. Bye.